on and get your sign. Come on and get your sign. We got this thing called survivor's guilt, mm -hmm. right? So you think like, and it's vice versa, even the hood. The hood, they'll champion you when you're doing something. And they'll be like, yo, 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 till they realize it's really real. And now they're like, damn, this guy might go away and never come back. So that's when you got that right. adversity. Right. Uh, for me, I literally was holding down 50 dudes. Mm. Like I was going to dinner every night, steak and lobster right. for 50 guys, mm -mm. 50 Cadillac trucks, mm. 50 chains, 50 lawyers, 50, you know, just like trying to that keep it real. Shit. Mm. I went broke three times doing this. Shit. I'm talking about millions. Right. You know what I'm saying? I caught 10 million and was, we was wilding. Wow. We was wilding until I went to the bank. And the man, the man said, man, this must be something wrong, Mr. Joe. I said, why? He was like, there's no money in here. My ass got this tight. <laughs> 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 Round two, y'all. Round two. Let's go. We got this thing called survivor's guilt, mm -hmm. right? So you think like, and it's vice versa, even the hood. The hood, they'll champion you. When you're doing something, they'll be like, yo, 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 till they realize it's really real. And now they're like, damn, this guy might go away and never come back. So that's when you got that right. adversity. Right. Uh, for me, I literally was holding down 50 dudes. Mm. Like I was going to dinner every night, steak and lobster right. for 50 guys, mm -mm. 50 Cadillac trucks, mm. 50 chains, 50 lawyers, 50, you know, just like trying to that keep it real. Mm. I went broke three times doing this. I'm talking about millions. Right. You know what I'm saying? I caught 10 million and was we was wilding. Wow. We was wilding until I went to the bank. And the man, the man said, man, this must be something wrong, Mr. Joe. I said, why? He was like, there's no money in here. My ass got this tight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've been through this before. Anybody with some money. Or that has, or that's a public figure, because not all public figures got money, right? And not all of them had it. But I've been through this before, man. I've never paid for no 50 people now. You know, I've never been that rich to where I got to take care of that many people I feel obligated to. But that, I'm glad he called it something called survivor's guilt. Because even regular people go through this stuff, man. Um, when one knows that you have the bag or they know that you're coming up or especially when you're in the entertainment business and you're a rapper y'all feel it the most i think they feel it the worst because there's a certain image that they have to hold uphold like they have to show that they're not weak they have to show that they're not by themselves they have to keep wolves around them and you know what they say if you don't feed the wolves then you become the pack you become the meal uh you become the food so this is why it's very important to make sure, I'm gonna tell you this. When I was growing up, man, I never hung out with a lot of people. The same best friend that I was around then, I still got him today. That man ain't never asked me for nothing in life. Nothing in life out of everything I'd have been through. He ain't never asked me for nothing. Uh, I took care of a couple family members, you know, paid a couple rents here and there, but nobody ever made me feel as as if, if i was supposed to do that all the way i might have felt it a time or maybe two but i never got the energy that a lot of people got a lot of black people a lot of people of color or whatever, whatever you want to say um what they receive when they stumble across the bag or when they're out here as a public figure i never really got that i've gotten it from a lot of friends though um not what so-called friends, I would say. When you feel like, look, a lot of times I felt like I was out here just paying people because, like he said, survivor's guilt. You know for a fact that they're dealing with things and you get to a place where you don't want to tell them no. And to be honest, man, you feel you feel bad. You feel bad and they're not, they're, they're, they don't understand what your bank account look like. They don't understand what's coming in and what's going out. They don't see those numbers when it's decreasing each and every day. And they don't consider the, they don't consider the, the lawyers. They don't consider the fees. They don't consider the taxes. 
all that stuff. They don't consider any of that. So all they're thinking about is me, 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 because I'm broke. You got it. I ain't never had it. And why are you acting that way? You act like you can't at least spare me $5. There are some people that look like millionaires or that you, you Google them right now and their net worth is probably $2 million and they probably can't even spare you a hundred bucks. That is real. But it is so hard for people to you know, get that in their head because they've never even seen it before. They don't understand how money works. The more money you have, like Biggie said, the more problems you have. But this is why it's important to keep good, solid people in your corner and make sure you keep your circle small because when the, the smaller it is, the less stress you have. The more people you add into your life, especially once you start getting it, everybody coming with their hands out like this. Everybody coming with their hands out. Even if they come off as cool as hell, they around you for a reason. They wasn't around you before you had it, right? So I look at it like this. I wasn't really hanging with nobody. I didn't have a pack of people who I hung out with growing up. So it made it a lot easier for me when I got on to just maneuver and nobody could get mad at me. Nobody could get mad at me. The only people that probably got mad at me was the people that was in my camp and they felt obligated. They, they, they felt entitled like I was supposed to keep paying, paying for their services or I was supposed to keep paying for them just to be my friend basically. So that's the thing that people don't understand, man. Um, um, I think I did very well in that department. I think everybody gets licked at some point, at some point, especially if you black. I, I really feel that, you know, because the majority of us aren't coming from environments where everybody got it. If everybody got it, then cool. But you don't see football players out here. There's a reason why football players and basketball players and athletes and and rich entertainers. There's a reason why you don't see them really fighting over money when it's time for them to go somewhere or they feel left out or you don't see them really talking trash about another man's or another woman's bread because everybody got it, everybody getting along. That's why the circle of friends is very, very, very crucial to your, to your growth and to your mental. And a lot of times, sad to say, you will, I wouldn't say have to cut people, but you have to distance yourself and get around people who are more like-minded to keep you in that tax bracket, to keep your mind fresh, because after a certain amount of time, nobody's going to understand where you're coming from. All they see is the person who they grew up with in high school, the person who they grew up with since diapers, and here you are now. And they love to hit this thing. This is the thing that really gets on my nerves. This right here is the red flag. This is a major red flag that I know a lot of y'all done probably said it to folks or you don't heard it before. Don't forget about me when you get up there. What you mean don't forget about you? What you mean by that? Because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh, if you really, really rock with me, and you know I rock with you, you wouldn't have to tell me nothing like that. You shouldn't, you wouldn't have to tell me anything like that. You wouldn't even fix your mouth to say no dumb shit like that. Don't forget about the little one. Don't forget about me when you get there. So you automatically putting a, putting a cap on the growth of our relationship. Right then and there, you, you put it in there. And then when you go ahead and, and that person get distant from you, then you say, see, 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 see. See, I knew they were going to do it. See, what I told you about them. See, see, see. You get what I'm saying? So um, all that victimizing stuff that people do, all because they're broke and they ain't got it, or they haven't figured out their situation, they ain't none of our problem, man. When you're around a person with resources, you are there to take advantage, not take them for granted. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, not saying that. Don't use them in a manipulative way. But anytime I would like to think, it's almost like being with a, with a couple of yours, you know, with a spouse or something. You're there for the resources. I mean, you're not there for the resources, but you're if a person is in your face and they're allowing you within their space, they got you living on their couch, they paying for your stuff, it's deeper than the money, man. It's about them resources, man. What can I do to put myself in position so I won't have to depend on this person anymore? What do I have to do? But most times, you see people for what they are and over 90% of them aren't gonna do right. They just gonna sit there right, like, just like this, expecting for you to pay them all the way through. And life don't work that way, bro. Life do not work that way. And I would never, ever, ever. I've never even been in a position like that where I've been around someone and because they got resources and everything, I expect for them to keep coddling me. That's crazy. I done built up people's brands, gave people followers, gave people money. I done done a lot of things, paid for rents. I done did things that a lot of folks ain't never seen before or done. But I tell you what, the moment you pull that plug for your own safety, you sit back and you watch and you, and you already expect that somebody's gonna cut up. 
and it's sad and it's unfortunate and it really does hurt it really does hurt when when someone has to deal with that and they also kind of expect for that person to cut up because it's almost like taking a candy out of a baby mouth and that's exactly what it is you take that candy out of that baby mouth that baby gonna start crying that's no different from what grown folks do when you take away something that that's keeping them surviving you know when you take that away from them and it's not only just their rent or their money that's going down they're probably passing that money on to their mom their dad their brothers and now they hungry and now they mad at you because they got pressure or they probably went lying talking about they got it or everything's gonna be all good and gucci for the rest of our lives no it ain't this is my money not yours these my resources not yours now i can pass and i can share my resources i can take you to the water but i can't make you i can take you to the well but i can't make you drink the water we have to get into a self-efficient mindset people and stop depending on folks and feeling so damn entitled because we feel that is one of the biggest that is a is a dangerous thing when you run into somebody who you know feels entitled and you know they are wrong and but they don't see no wrong bro you got to get up out of there you have to protect yourself because you probably end up dead messing around with that person that person may not understand that. That person, you, look, everybody got limits, man. Everybody got limits and you don't know the capability of, of folks in the, in the processing of their brain when they really get in survival mode themselves or when they really feel like they're, they're at a disadvantage. You gotta get away from the folks. You gotta protect yourself. This is why they say move your ass out the hood. Get away from these people who might kick your door down who are in survival mode. They don't. They may like you, but in the same token, they don't they don't care that much because they're trying to eat. Wolves, leeches, entitled behavior. So find good folks in your life. Make sure you keep those good folks in your life, but also learn how to distance yourself and keep your mouth shut. Stop letting people know what you make. Stop letting people know and, and giving them stop giving them too much information. Because when you do that, it becomes a detriment to your safety and what you got running. So what are your thoughts about this? The end.